Hello YouTube, it's Perry from PK Studio again um, and today I, I'm going to show you um, how, how I'm going to clean up this um, photo um, so I have been doing a bit of uh, newborn photography lately um, I mean this is by far uh, you know far from being a good shot um, I mean it, it's kind of like a test shot basically uh, as you can see the the blocks are not even um, set up correctly um, so we have the dad holding um, the baby um, since this this baby is now for when I shot this photo um, the baby is four months old and it will take him another month or two before he can sit by himself so um, right here that the dad is um, holding um, holding him up so I'm gonna try and remove him entirely from the background so the challenge is gonna be um, cleanly cutting out um, all his um, anything outside of his shirt right here um, I have the dad hold the baby from the back of course um, but no fingers nothing is wrapped around that you could see on the front of the shirt so um, that way is easier to clean up um, another challenge I could tell I could just see right here is the the shadow the shadow on the ground so and and how how I'm gonna blend in with the rest of the the picture uh, the background so you can see the right side here is it's got a different color tone than over here for whatever reason um, so that's gonna be another challenge so anyway so uh, first I'm gonna create a new layer as always you want to just have a backup um, so th on the new layer I'm gonna do a what use the lasso uh, selection and just do a quick select around I want to go over oh not that much but I do want to go over the shadow slightly so I have room to blend in and carefully um, deselecting the over selected areas by holding alt and just carefully go around these edges right okay uh, okay and again I'm gonna just go over slightly there you go over over that's fine and yep so once I have everything selected um, I'm gonna grab the paint brush uh, it's a decent size I'm gonna sample um, the background here and I'm going to paint right on top of this and I'm gonna sample the color here again and paint in right just trying to blend in the color here right okay cool and I'm done no I'm just kidding so as you can see ooh, I as you can see right here, I accidentally um, over painted the area of 
the year. So I'm gonna create a layer mask and I can just brush these back in. But um first I'm gonna do um I wanna make sure I do this cleanly so I'm gonna select I'm gonna hide the first layer. I'm gonna select uh like the area of the the ear before it got trimmed okay uh, like so and I'm gonna go back to this layer and on the mask I'm going to paint into my selected area to make sure I don't over or under Paint it, and I guess right here I'm gonna slightly paint in. And there I fixed the ear. Um, looks like the hairs are not quite. I'm gonna paint those in as well, and maybe I'll just make the brush bigger here, since this could be the the blend in area, basically. Whatever the shadow here is, but um, see if I could just fade this out and then call it, you know, done. So let's. I mean, by done, I mean, um, basically, that's the end of the shadow right there. That way, I don't have to worry about um, extending it from here and and all that fun stuff so looks like my ear is going away again uh, okay and let's go back here one more time and do the same thing select the ear come back here and paint black there you go. The reason I over painted it again is because I was trying to get this little shadow away. Which looks like it's part of the hand. But yeah. I, I guess I'll just clone that uh, later. Um, it, it actually looks not so not not too bad right now. I'm gonna create a, a co copy of the entire uh, photo here. Uh, Control Alt Shift and E. And I'm gonna do. Um, let's select the area again, just to make sure I don't. I don't ruin everything anything that is oh looks like I I gotta fix that uh, uh, we'll go we'll go back to that later uh, for now I, I want to get rid of all this shadow and just want to make sure I don't over I paint I don't paint over areas where I don't want to again this time um, that's what you get for not taking your time when you're selecting your work area okay so with the selected area I'm gonna do use my clone stamp uh, make it smaller about that size get a sample here by alt clicking and just kind of paint over here so that little shadow has gone uh, I'm gonna paint sample here and paint along here there you go just keep sampling sample and paint sample paint okay and over here select and everything looks
looks pretty good already. Um, right? Okay. And you know this this shadow really bothers me, so I I'll, I'll fix that um, as well. But for now, let me fix this first. So um, I'm gonna grab the original layer, make a copy, put on top, and put a mask over it. Um, control I, invert the mask, and let's go back here. Um, select the block. Zoom in to make sure. Precisely select. No, no, I'll just use the straight line tool, whatever you call it. Enter and I come back here and I'm going to paint white over. There you go. Recovered. And let's see. For the shadow, um, before I work on the shadow, I'm gonna make another copy. Control Alt Shift E. And let me see. Let's try this. Select color range. And let's narrow it down. Uh, something like that. And let's quickly just select all these stuff that I don't, I don't wanna. It's not part of what I need to work on. Okay, and from that, let's do a adjustment layer um, with that mask selection. So let's bring that up. Looks pretty good. Uh, whatever that is. Uh, okay, I'll fix that later. Um, as you can see. As you can see, um, some part of this area is being being adjusted as well. So let me go ahead and clean this right now. Um, let's see, delete, right? Got it. And there you go. I did uh, Alt left click to s to see your mask uh, layer. And as you can see right now, you you got rid of most of the shadow, but there's like a little halo. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is um, just feather, feather, no, feather, feather it out. Um, that looks pretty good. Um, but let me see what I can do. Let's see, mask edge. And let's just shift that edge outward like that. And boom. Before, after. Pretty clean. And all we have left here is the baby just sitting on his own. Um, so here's the before. And the first thing we did was just select um, the dad and paint you know sample color around the edges of um, the selected area and kind of just paint in the back background the new background right so once that's done uh, we went ahead and um, um, precisely um, clean up all the uh, shadow. Um, the next thing we did, we grabbed, you know, uh, the first original layer and, you know, kind of fix what I make, what the uh, um, mistake that I did earlier. Um, and then whatever this layer is, and then the last thing we did is uh, cleaning up this shadow and. There you go. Um, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and 
um, like the video if you want uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh, leave me uh, feel free to leave me a comment below to let me know how I did how um, how bad I did or how good I did um, any other uh, different method you would have uh, used uh, feel free to let me know and I'll see you in the next video thank you